Hello everyone, today is August the 15th, 2022. I'm in the city of Timmins, my hometown. Today is a Monday. My name is Thomas Larby. I'm trying to be like Donald Smith in Vancouver. He's an independent journalist. So this is my first news story in the city of Timmins. I'm standing outside 120 Kent Avenue in the city of Timmins, outside of a school. This school is going to be torn down starting very, very soon and turned into a francophone healthcare center, healthcare, healthcare center hospital, and expected the work to be complete by 2025. Right now it's been, it's been, it is and it's been empty for many, many years. It's only used for bingo on Mondays and Wednesdays and uh, the people who play bingo here will be moving to a new location. So that's good that bingo remains and only move to a new location and this school will be taken down and turned into a friend of the healthcare center. Very, very soon they'll be taking this down. And um, this is on the Timmins today. Just Google 120 Kent Avenue. Go into Google Images and you'll see that there there's a story that was just published three days ago. So expect to see this on CBC News, or sorry, on CTV News, Northern CTV News, while watching television comfortably at home hopefully comfortably at home and the government of Ontario has committed to 10 million dollars so I'll show you guys this so I'm trying to be like Donald Smith in Vancouver an independent journalist who reports on things that might not be reported on CTV News or will be, but hasn't yet. You got right here, your tax dollar at work. Building Ontario together, Ontario builds. Yeah. Your tax dollars at work. Building Ontario together. This will be the new the name of the new center here. Okay. I'm going to end the recording.